Hi everyone, you alright? Yeah, so PT blogs at uh, Witten. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one or two other YouTubers were there. But uh, I didn't stick around because I knew what was coming. <laughs> Later on that day, it just chucked it down. Absolutely chucked it down. And it's done the same today. A uh, major problem with Whitton Park uh, when you go there, especially if, especially travelling furs and everything, and events, when it rains, oh God, talk about muddy. Talk about muddy, it gets absolutely waterlogged, does that place. It really does. And uh, they had to put... Uh, drainage pipes round the edge of the park to stop it from flooding as part of Blackburn's uh, anti-flooding uh, strategy Northwest, uh, well United Utilities had to put um, pipes and tanks and stuff storage facilities buried under certain parts of Blackburn. We have one on Wally Old Road at the back next to the river so that for when if the water goes up above the cert a certain height it it uh, takes it away. But uh, if a large part of Blackburn gets flooded out um it's not real it's no real uh, use for uh, for the area but uh, yeah that's uh, Whitton Park and outlying areas yeah it's been pretty wet today um I've just come in I was going to film but uh I thought, well, better not, because of where we were going. We went round, uh, where did we go? We went round to uh, Whiteburg to just get a few items. And uh, it was just one of those things we did today. And uh, it were pretty wet wet and windy up there and uh, tomorrow hopefully hopefully if this weather gets any better um, is that um, what was I going to say well we'll go out tomorrow and do some filming and We'll get some uh, updates on some of the um, construction that's going on. Um, Blackburn's construction efforts. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they are their efforts. Um, the diggers have been withdrawn from the project. And just be, it's basically now, um, there's no real um, activity going on that piece of land at the moment. So they just, the diggers had left and uh, they just left holes everywhere for foundations to go in. And that's about it. No real building work has started. Uh, there's a, a little bit further up on Enum, going towards Enum Wharf. I think they're going to put, uh, how can I put it, uh, a glass um, construction there on the end. I think they're going to knock, knock a few holes from the building next to it and put and put 
uh, doorways in so that uh, people can sit at the end and have a view of Blackburn. What, what, well, I say what view of Blackburn? All you'll, uh, all you'll see is, uh, is the mall at the bottom and I think where the old, uh, where the uh, old um, Tommy Balls used to be at the bottom, which is now Green's Fabrics. And uh, yeah, who would want to look at that? Um, that piece of land at the back of there, it's overgrown and everything. Uh, the person, the person who owns that land, well, you need to get your act together because there's rats and all sorts in on that land, and uh, Morrison's don't want it like that, you know, because you're bringing vermin into the area. So whoever owns that land, and you're watching this blog. Get some equipment up there, clean it up, because the Mercedes dealership next door, well, it's not good for them, neither, because they use, they still use the set, the old uh, Mercedes dealership buildings for storing vehicles in, and uh, yeah, it's a mess up there, absolute mess. Well, a big massive shout out to all the Blackpool bloggers. And uh, you know who you are. Old Blackpool Biker, Visit Fowled Coast, Beyond the Edge, Would Take a Walk on the Wild Side, uh, Dark Trooper, Old Blackpool Biker, The Biker X, um, who else? Um else was there like uh, uh who else who else who else well i don't know what's happened to helen's crowd loud and proud uh channel but uh i think he's actually uh given the channel a bit of a break at the moment you know but uh, i'm not too sure about that We'll just have to wait and see what happens about that channel. But, uh, you know, Beyond the Edge has been doing a hell of a lot of good videos of late. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The weather here has been quite atrocious, really. And, uh, well... We'll uh, see how it's how it is tomorrow. If it's uh, nasty and crappy like it is, well, it's going to be uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. And also, folks, um, I hope everybody's buying their stuff in because uh, some, like, say, cooking oil and stuff. Um, is going to be very soon in short supply. As a matter of fact, for one of my friends who owns uh, an eatery, he said a lot of a lot of stuff that he was after he couldn't get. He went to the wholesalers, and they f and he found out the that people people in the trade are just buying stuff up as they can get it. You know. And uh, what I'm saying to you folks is, if you can and you have the room for it, just go out and buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, before you can't buy it anymore, you know. Um, I'm not being, um, how can I put it? Um, how can I put that? Um yeah, but you just need to buy it up whilst it's there because when it's gone, it's gone. And uh, you really need to 
put fill your cupboards up. If you can get tin stuff, uh, the better. Because lots of the governments, like I said in one of my other blogs, have basically gone and bought up all the dried food. Um, the people who make um, powdered potatoes, right? Powdered potato mix. They've been they've been uh, very busy. Um, cause a bit, cause people have been buying all that so they can like make their own mashed potato and stuff. So, yeah, dried processed food, dry dry food, is um, is is being bought up by, you know, the but just buying it up. Up left, right, and centre. It's same with tin stuff. Um, very soon, sooner or later, we're going to run out of canned, canned uh, items because uh, metal extraction and all that sort of thing. Some of it will be hard to get hold of for making uh, certain certain containers. Then. What will happen then, it will then go to plastic containers and then it may be uh, pre-sealed bag things, you know. So be ready, be prepared folks and uh, buy in your stuff. Buy in your stuff. So I'm going to bugger off now and uh, it's bye for now. Three, two, one, click.